What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here and we are here at the Palm Beach Boat Show 2022 and I'm here at the VTEC boat checking out their 18 foot flats boat they have here. So I haven't covered too much flats boat content I know on this channel but I'd like to expand a little bit into it and show you guys a little bit what the flats fishing and the flats boats are like because they're completely different than the offshore boats that you guys are usually used to seeing on my channel. So as always when we do our boat walkthroughs we're going to start up here in the bow of the boat and we got Adam over here. Adam was kind enough to show me around this boat beforehand so I know all of the little neat things about this boat so I can show it to you guys. All right, so up here in the front of the, um, the boat over here, we have a big casting platform. You guys can stand up here. You can toss out your casting nets. Um, there's tons of room to cast and just look out on the flats. And in addition, this boat does not have one on it, but you guys can have a casting platform. And I'll throw a picture of what one looks like on the screen. It'll give you guys a little bit extra leverage. You get a little higher, you can see out further, and you guys can have um, an easier time sight fishing the fish on the flats. So if we open up this hatch up here, this is the only hatch up here on the casting platform with the bow. So looking inside this hatch, we have our batteries um, compartment here for our uh, trolling motor that you guys would definitely want to put onto this boat along with a spot for your anchor and everything up there. Now of course if you guys do not have a trolling motor on your boat you can still use this for other kind of storage as well. This boat doesn't have a trolling motor like I just said but of course it is an option if you want it. Alright so we'll close this hatch on up just like that. So you guys can get a view from front. It's an absolute beautiful boat totally decked out here with some custom sea deck and yeah we'll keep going on through the boat. So if you guys look right here we have another compartment. Now this is going to be some more storage down here. You guys can throw some dry storage if you want in here. It's also an insulated cooler so you guys can use it for ice and you can put your drinks and your snacks and everything like that inside this well and keep it cold all day long. We'll close this hatch on up. You guys see this absolutely beautiful sea deck design they have here. I'm not really sure what it's called, but I absolutely love it. Along with this custom VTEC uh, tape measure along here. So that way you guys can measure your fish. Super clean, super cool, very fishy looking. This boat is a nice, very light blue color. If you guys have watched my other videos, you guys will know that I'm a big fan of light blue boats in general. So this boat just gives me really cool fishy vibes and I absolutely love it. So the upholstery job on this boat is absolutely very impressive. So if we take a look under the seat up here in the front, we have some dry storage so you have access to your speakers in here. This boat is decked out with JLs. Oh, sorry, not JL. They're Nertz speakers, they're called. Um, they got speakers everywhere. We got over here, two, three, four over here, five, six, seven, eight. There's tons and tons of speakers. Everybody's going to hear your music, guys, when you guys are out on the sandbar, out on the flats doing whatever. But over here, you have your dry storage compartment. And you guys can throw your backpacks in there, your tackle, anything you want to keep dry. Very nice compartment. This console is very nicely color matched to the hull. Very nice light blue color. Closes just like that. All right, so I'm finding this, filming this walkthrough very different because I'm used to doing these big center consoles and stuff. I'm currently just sitting here on the ground looking at all this stuff for you guys. So if you look under here on the gunnels, there's not anything on here on both sides, but it is customizable so you guys can throw extra LED lights under there if you guys want to light up the boat and take it out at night and party and do whatever on it. Or you guys could put some fishing rod holder storage on there if that's what you're into. So it is customizable. I was just informed underneath here, very hard to see, but you guys have an outlet over there so you guys can do electrical reels or whatever you guys want to plug into the boat. You have an outlet over there to do so. Now if we make our way back to the stern of the boat, let's take a look over here. This is your helm. I'm going to take a seat at the helm. This is your view. This is my eye level. It's a flats boat, guys. You guys can see absolutely everything around here. We got this big Garmin display here along with your Mercury display with uh, two cup holders and one actually cup holder rod holder right there. So it'll be directly in your view. You guys also have two rod holders over here along with another rod holder, two more rod holders over here. Check out this beautiful paracord finish you have on the wheel. This is not something that I really see ever on center consoles um, that I usually cover. And honestly, this is really cool. I kind of want to do it to our own boat. The paracord is a very sick look. So as usual, you guys have your throttle over here, your switches and everything like that over here. Nice out of the way. Nice carbon fiber um, backdrop they have here. 
along with a dry storage hatch. This hatch actually connects over here. So I opened up that hatch for you guys before. This is all connected. It's all dry storage. Um, you just can access it from this side over here as well. One thing we don't see on the center consoles I usually cover is this little paddle over here, which almost looks like a, a paddle shifter on a like a supercar or something like that, but it's actually for the jack plate. So in order for this boat to be able to run in the flats efficiently, that motor can go up and down vertically. So not like your regular trim that you guys have on here. It has a jack plate that lifts the motor up and down and allows it to draw less water and allows you to run in shallower water. That's why this boat actually drafts only 10 inches of water. So that means you guys are only 10 inches of water when you guys are up on plane to be running this boat, which is super cool and super unique to the flats boats. All right, so back here is the beautiful bench seat that I was just sitting on. Very comfortable and very nice upholstery, great quality. We're going to lift up the seat here on a nice hydraulic system. I'm going to take a look inside. This is the bilge, tons of bilge access, and they told me you will not find this kind of bilge access on a flats boat, 18 foot, on any other brand. So that's really cool to see. Very clean in here, very beautiful bilge access, very easy to maintain. And uh, I see your batteries right there in the corner. Very impressive bilge access they have here. So we're going to close this on up and just locks just like that. Very cool to see that they have a nice backrest on this. A lot of the fly spots that I have seen don't give you an option for a backrest. And as I've never ridden on one personally, I feel like that backrest option would be really nice to have. And the best part is about this backrest that it is removable. So you guys can see they have these two knobs right here, one and two. You guys could twist those knobs off and take out the backrest completely if you guys just want to rock a bench style seat be a little bit more aerodynamic whatever reason you guys might want to take off the, the backrest you can take it off but you do get an additional four five six rod holders with this bench seat two of which can be used for trolling because they're pointed out to the sides so you guys might not want to take off that backrest personally i know i would rock it more comfortable and more rod holders is good for me so take a look over here we have our live well a nice big live well. You guys can store all the piltrudes, all the mullet, anything you guys want to store in here. Got plenty of room in this live well for that. Okay, so now if we take a look back here, we have two more compartments, actually three. We have two that are identical on the point starting side. So we have that hatch and that hatch, which are going to be storage hatches. You guys can throw all your catch. These are insulated compartments again, so you guys can put your ice and everything like that in there. It'll keep your food, drinks, everything like that cold, along with your fish that you guys catch. So you have one here on the port side and identical on the starboard side. And the last hatch I almost forgot about is right here, and that's going to be some more build access for you guys. There we go, open up, just pops open like that. There you guys go. You guys can reach into your bilge, do whatever kind of maintenance you guys have to do. And uh, they added just an extra hatch, which they definitely didn't have to do um, because you already have access over there. But this extra compartment, it's just an added convenience for you on this boat. So we do have some rod holders built into the side here. This is a rod holder. It looks like a rod holder cup holder, along with another one over there. And that appears to be the only ones built into this boat. But um, like I said, it's customizable, guys. You guys can add as many as you want probably to this boat. Um, so you don't have to worry about needing more rod holders. If we take a look back here, this boat is powered by a Mercury 150. And you guys can get a bigger motor for that. Over here is an identical um, hull to this one. This one's powered by a Mercury 200. So you guys can up the amount of power. That boat over there actually tops out about 70 miles an hour. So personally, I don't know if I want to be going on a flats boat 70 miles an hour, but you guys have that option. The extra power is always nice to have. So we have our twin power poles over here. And if you guys know flats boats, you guys know that people have polling platforms over there. So that is an option for this boat. You guys can have a polling platform. You guys can put a push pole along the side, the trolling motor, anything you guys want, those extra things that you guys see on other flats boat, you guys can get it here on the VTEC boat. This Mercury motor is actually color matched. So it's got that nice blue with a black stripe going down the middle. I really love it. I think it's a sweet looking motor. And so this down here, this black plate, it's actually going to be your jack plate that I was talking to you guys about before. I'll show you guys on the outside of the boat what it looks like, but that allows your motor to go up and down 
and gives you allows you to run in shallower water. All right, so that's gonna do it for the inside of the boat. I'm just gonna hop out, show you guys the jack plate and the power pole and everything in the back, and just do a little walkthrough of the outside of the hole for you guys. So let's hop on out. So if you come around here to the back of the boat, you guys can see the jack plate that I was talking about right over there. That is what allows your motor to go up and down, allows you to run shallower water. Got your trim tabs, as all boats do on here. And here are your power poles, twin power poles. If you guys don't know what power poles are for, they are basically going to extend out these legs over here and they're going to lock and anchor themselves down into the sand that you guys are in so you guys don't have to deploy an anchor, you don't have to use your trolling motor and use the battery up to hold yourself in place. Those power poles will just hold you right exactly where you guys want. So this is the boat from the outside. Very aesthetically beautiful boat they have here. Like I said, you guys can add a casting platform on the front over here. You guys can add a pulling platform over the motor. You guys can also add a push pull onto the side. You guys can fully deck this thing out for any of your fishing needs that you guys want with this boat. Let's take a quick walk around. It's a, it's a beautiful option. It's 18 foot VTEC flat boat here. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this like this walkthrough, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing down below. It really helps me out a lot and allows me to keep making videos just like this for you guys. Huge shout out to the guys at VTech over there for showing me around the boat and allowing me to film this walkthrough and bring you guys this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys check out this video here on the left side of the screen. It's also from the Palm Beach Ocho. I really think you guys will enjoy it if you like this video. Until my next video, remember to keep living salty.